Hey, how's it going, you uneasy Umbreons? Today we are finally playing some games with the championship deck from Sheffield Regionals, uh, piloted by David. Not quite sure how to pronounce his last name and don't want to butcher it. Uh, David F. Um, and uh, super interesting list. Um, not a whole lot different from other Guardian li Guardian lists we've seen. Um, he's hot op opting for the heavy charms, uh, two psychic charms, beat the Mew Box, two lightning charms, beat Picaram, uh, two Ultra Beast charms, beat the Blacephalon, and then he's got four Switch. Now we have seen Switch in Guardian before, but for never four. Um, and then he's opting for the seemingly over Super Scoop Ups, and I think the idea behind it is you just kind of switch between your Guardians um, and just move them around, and then um, attack with a new one. And it kind of does the same thing as a Scoop Up. Uh, just moves the damage guardian to the bench and you just leave it there you don't touch it anymore it just stays on the bench no one wants to see it ever again you never move it back to your active they can double custom catcher it if they want um but you don't have to move it to your active and you just don't plan to you just leave it on the bench once it gets damaged never touch them ever again um so it kind of works the same as a scoop up in the sense in that sense um and i really like the idea behind it so we're gonna go ahead see how it runs uh i guess the other cute things he's got in here he's playing the adventure bag um which has become more standard i think recently uh, heavier on the Cherish Ball with the 3 Cherish Ball. He is doing the Xerneas GX. I've never really played this, played around with the Xerneas GX before, so I'm not sure how I feel about this. But uh, I guess one of the plays you get to do with the switches, you get to switch around your Guardians and then go into that Sanctuary GX and then heal all the damage off your Guardians potentially. So that's a super cute play you can set up with the Xerneas. Plus the switches after moving your Guardians from the active getting damage to the bench, try and save him. Another one to the bench, try and save it into that Sanctuary GX. So super cool game plans you can set up with that. Um, so let's go ahead and see if we can't pull it off. Yeah, super interesting list. Uh, not too much different, like I said. The big thing is Switch is over Scoop, scoop Up, seemingly. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and uh, see how it works. Our first one here, I do believe we are up against the Ability Zard here. Uh, so super tough matchup. Yeah, David did not come up with, as far as I can tell, did not come up with any way to like auto win or even get a close matchup out of this matchup. I think I took a look at his matchup spread and I think he went 0-2-2 against Ability Zara. So he's able to take some games, um, but not much past that. And I'm not really surprised. This matchup, this matchup is just difficult, man. The Ability Zara matchup for the Guardian is just really, really, really tough, man. Um, so we're going to do what we, the best we can. Um, I have a feeling it's not going to be enough, but uh, we're going to try. We're going to try here. We're going to try and make this work um try and get the uh the game close at the very least um but who knows we might just get blown out and then might just see how bad of a matchup it is uh for guardian in the end this year our opponent does have the welder off the start I'd be very surprised if they did not have yet yeah, there's the two fire so already we're in trouble right off the bat and uh, we're gonna need some help here immediately our hand is nothing super stellar as far as being aggressive goes um so we're gonna be on the back foot for quite a while here, I think. There's a Vulpix as well. I guess we're just gonna look to Fairy Song turn one to another Guardian and kind of build up from there. Gonna greens for a Cherish Ball and probably another greens. Looks like they maybe don't have the energy attachment quite yet and they might actually whiff, which would be huge for us if our opponent did whiff that, uh, that oh so important turn one three energy in play on the Rushy's Art. It is a big deal on to whether or not they get it. They usually get it. Uh, if they find the welder sometimes they whiff though especially with the new crystal build the new crystal build whiffs a little bit more often than the 18 fire energy build which kind of makes sense if you have 18 fire energy you're more likely to uh get your fire energy right uh, but no there's the attachment it turns out they didn't whiff at all just a little bit of a slow roll and uh over to us yeah we'll see here another fairy energy top deck usually we get an energy spinner turn one um but uh, not this time we're just gonna go with the cherish ball and another greens prized a whole ton of supporters two coach trainer one greens um let's see what else we prize it looks like a pokey gear is also prized uh and an energy um a switch maybe let's check over there no switch in hand uh so we got most of them down it looks like an energy spinners prize actually all right so we know almost all of our prizes there was like three of those yeah yeah, yeah. we're chilling Grab ourselves one of the Guardians here. I'm going to go with the Full Art. I like the Full Art, non-Hyper Rare. Let's go with this one. I like this one. Throw it down. Boom. Fairy Song for the two energy. I was going to say for the knockout, but that's not quite what it does. We get two energy here. Move them to our Guardi Sylveon. And then pass over to our opponent, where I'm sure 
Um, they are all ready to go ahead and uh, GX attack, knock out our bench guardian, leaving us nothing to do on our turn. And uh, that's scary, man. We'll see what we top deck to, to potentially combat that, but we'll definitely be in quite the spot if they do have that full play happening. Hopefully it's just GX are active and not quite the uh, uh, nine temptations GX are bench guardian. That's a little bit too much. We need them to slow down a little bit. Um, they did get the attachment already on the Zard, but they don't have the welder quite yet. That is the most important piece here. Most important piece here is the uh, the welder. So let's see if they can uh, can get that or not. Cherish ball again. I'm assuming going to be grabbing themselves the uh, what's it called? They already grabbed a Dene. I guess maybe second rushy Zard. Second rushy Zard is actually like okay in this matchup because it's so hard for us to KO rushy Zards. Looks like it's just going to be a fail for now. Um, leave themselves the options for later. And then, yeah, just go with the Dead Knight. That is their second Ninetales. So if we ever want to cut off Ninetales for whatever reason, we can uh, knock out this Ninetales. They won't have access to Ninetales for the rest of the game unless they're playing the three Ninetales, um, which I guess wouldn't be the craziest thing in the world. There's a Stellar Wish. Um, if I had to guess, I would guess they're looking for a Welder here. There is a Welder. I guess if we had gotten a Power Plant with our first Greens, we might have been able to stop them. From doing anything they would have stellar wished first before the Dedenne and tried to find a stadium which they might have found um, this deck does play a lot of stadiums um, so early power plants aren't usually that effective but we do play four power plant in this deck so uh, may as well try and be aggressive with them early but if we had done that we wouldn't have had a supporter for this turn so i think just getting the greens is probably a little bit safer um, overall and yeah we'll see what our opponent has here they did get the the welder for two question is did they get a switch card if they didn't can actually look for an attack this next turn on the Jirachi, which I think we will go for here, and then try and set up into taking away their hand um, a little bit later on. We could also go for the Ninetales knockout, but that feels a little greedy and really hard to pull off. Um, we could go for the Greens to knock out the Ninetales. They would lose all potential of Gusts gust effects from here on out we could fairy song again but fairy song seems like a little much because when they can just nine tails kill whatever has energy so i think we should just go for an attack here and it knock out the jirachi i'm feeling that we'll see where it goes in the greens for uh i think reset stamp and another greens we could take greens and a power plant and go ahead and throw the power plant down right now we could just wait to throw it down until next turn don't really know what else I would really want. Let me take a quick look through. Oh, I kind of like this combo right here. And we can throw, power, throw down a power plant this turn. If it sticks, that might be good. If they replace it, um, then we'll have another one for the turn after. Sounds reasonable to me. Um, yeah, we could just try and build up into the combo as well. Um, we'll go ahead and switch to this guy. And then uh, Storm. And we're going to move one back to the other Guardian. Um, and I think that's it. We just want to be able to attack with one of the Guardians on the next turn to hit the Reshi Zard. We do want to stamp our opponent next turn for sure. Uh, the Fairy Charm, not going to add a whole lot to our game plan at all. Um, so yeah, I think we hold the Power Plant there. And then we just go Greens for Greens and Reset Stamp and go Plant Reset Stamp. Uh, Storm. Uh, we'll move them all off the active to the benched uh, Guardi that we can grab with this Cherish Ball next turn. Um, and then go switch on the following turn with the greens. Hopefully we start top decking some useful cards. I'm going to put a Charm on this Guardian so when it gets knocked out, um, the Charm goes with it. Um, if they set up a Turtonator here with three energy, we are going to be in massive trouble. Um, so we're really hoping they don't bench Turtonator and get three energy on it this turn. If they do that... We we'll probably will we'll just actually have to greens for a double custom catcher. I don't think we'll really have a choice there. That will have to be our game plan. Um, here is a Cherish Ball. Going to be for the Heatran. I don't think they're going to GX us with Heatran, but they're maybe just going to go ahead and throw some energy on Heatran. Because um, it is an attacker that we cannot one-shot. We one-shot all their baby attackers. So this will stick around for two turns um, and give them a little bit more uh, something to play with uh, going into turns from there. So makes sense to me for them to grab it. No Welder. Looks like they're just about to go ahead and GX us. And then, yeah, we're going to execute our game plan. Power plant. Greens for reset stamp and greens to give us more options on the next turn. Move our energy back with the Cherish Ball to a fresh Guardian. And hope for the best, man. Hope for the best. This matchup's tough, but we're uh, we're trying to piece it together the best we can. And uh, go from there. All right. 
Guardian. Uh, Cherish Ball, grab ourselves a Guardian. Like I said, kind of greens for a reset stamp and another greens. I think it has to be. If we're out of greens, I think we have one more greens in here. Oh, so we're gonna go into the coach trainer then. Uh, coach trainer is gonna have to carry us at, from this point on then. Uh, throw down a guardian, attach, power plant, reset stamp. We're gonna have to hope the coach trainer gets us a switch. So I guess we could have maybe gone for Bill's analysis to dig for switch instead. Uh, but we do need other cards as well. Um, and we are gonna storm. We have to move all the energy back. Um, all the energy must go to the other guardy and then pass and then yeah we do need to hit a switch off the coach trainer uh we could have gone for the bills analysis i guess that would have allowed us to dig a little bit deeper for the switch um but uh yeah this is the situation we're in uh hoping for the best again um we could nah we can't get to the magical we couldn't I mean, we couldn't miracle but it wouldn't really wouldn't reset their hand so that's not what we're trying to do here Hoping this power plant plus reset stamp kind of carries us quite the ways. Um, they're at the very least going to probably get an energy attachment and flare strike us or outrage. I'd imagine they would flare strike though, try to do as much damage as possible. It looks like it's going to be the hard retreat into the Jirachi though. They probably have a switch in hand this means, so they'll be able to at least switch back into the Rushy's Art and outrage for sure. Um, so they may as well, they're just trying to get this uh, stellar wish usage off. Also, if they brought up this Guardian, that would be pretty rough if they had like switch attached to Heatran. Um, hit this Guardian, we would be in a tough spot. And then we'd have to find some healing off the coach trainer in the form of great potions. Um, could get lucky and draw onto the combo of Xerneas GX plus Tag Switch plus an energy. That would be a little bit much. Wouldn't expect to draw that, but I would be open to drawing into it. Um, we'll see here though, as they go through their Stellar Wish, definitely taking their time. Um, ideally for us, they just uh, pass after not getting anything off Stellar Wish. Uh, if we needed an ideal scenario here, it is going to be the switch though. So at the very least, we are going to get uh, outraged or yeah, outraged at the very least. Maybe won't even get flare strike. They could also go into the heatran actually, switch into the heatran and then steaming stop. That would also be reasonable. That is a little bit risky though, because then we could KO them with our GX attack if we switch next turn. Switch currently not looking ridiculously likely, um, but we have to hope, right? Uh, they did get the fire crystal so yeah they can do one of those plays they can actually even bring up our guard war now which is the scariest part they can attach to heatran or no they can bring it up bring up heatran smack this thing for 130 but i guess we could gx attack them so maybe that's not but they would have outrage so yeah we're just in a bad spot man i keep trying to come up with ways where like this doesn't seem quite too bad but uh it's, it's, this is this is tough man the nine tails adds like a, a whole nother level i've never played this matchup when they've had the nine tails as well so that's like a whole nother level of uh, what the heck are we supposed to do, man? Um, there's the switch to see what they're going to go with here. Two, they're going to the Rushizard. I would have gone with the Heatran personally myself. Um, another attachment. So not just going to go with the Outwards. They're going to go with the Flare Strike. And then I get the question is, do they bring up this Guardian or they hit the active one? I would much prefer they hit the active one, I think. Um, but either way, they can bring up it. So we have to get this knockout here. We could also Great Potion it. Um, so it has to be Coach Trainer into Switch. Oh, okay. Um, that is a Switch. All right. Uh... Energy spinner for one. Um, Great Potion doesn't really save this thing at all. So I think I'm just going to attach the bench and switch into the one on, one on the bench as well. Yep, and then hope our opponent doesn't get Welder uh, knock out our bench dude. Storm. Knock out here. Going to leave the energy on the active here, I think, in, in this scenario. Yeah, just leave him on the active and... Uh, so we... Uh, Cross our fingers and pray. Greens off the prizes, super good at uh, getting us some options on the next turn. Oh, we do get a lot of prizes here. Uh, we actually win next turn if our opponent does not win this turn. We actually get to knock out the Dedenne um, or the Hedron. But if they do get Welder uh, into uh, knock out this guy with uh, nine temptations, uh, we do lose. That is that is the game and we will lose. But actually, if they don't get that, we win next turn. I didn't really notice that we had the, the game already set up to win next turn. But that early prize on the Jirachi uh, really helping us out a ton here. Um, Let's see if our opponent has it. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. I guess I should have put two of these charms in play in case of reset stamp, getting reset stamp. That means I also probably should have great potion. I kind of didn't notice that we could win next turn if our opponent whiffs the win on their turn. Just like, did not notice at all. There's a hearth. Uh-oh. That's gonna give them access to abilities again. Um, I'd expect they have a way to use the Dene out of hand. If they don't, hey, it's pretty cool. Uh, but maybe it gives them the energy they need to use Welder plus the Nine Temptations. They could, that could also give it to them as well. 
Um, I guess I should have moved an energy back, so that way I could retreat this potentially if they just brought it up for turn. All right, so once again, I have misplayed. Um, I'm not super familiar with this deck, so I'm, I'm learning a little bit, guys. Bear with me on this one. Should have moved an energy back to give myself that option, though, for sure. Should have moved an energy back, so if they just bring this up with nine temptations to stall it, I could retreat it next turn by just using an energy. Um, so, once again, another mistake by me. Um, hopefully they just get Welder and finish me off so it doesn't look too bad. There's Welder. Uh, there's two energy. So, we are going to lose here, um, as I kind of expected. Um, but there was an opening for us to almost take that game. So it was a little bit closer than I thought it would actually probably get to. Um, but I think our opponent did misplay when they attacked us with the Zard over attacking us with the Heatran. So that kind of gave us an opening. Um, maybe that wasn't that big. Well, I think it was a little bit of a mistake. But yeah, it is a loss in the end on this first one. Let's see if we can't do a little bit better and maybe dodge Rushy Zard in the next. Another one here, we are up against Chandelure. Uh, my man has been playing this deck so much. I think we're gonna start with the coach trainer actually, because we can greens for what we need on the next turn. Yeah, we're just gonna coach trainer first, get more options, make our uh, greens that much better on the following turn. Um, so our plan is gonna be able to hit, be to hit with two, like, two guardians back to back, and then follow up with um, follow up, follow up, follow up with the GX attack. These don't matter at all in this matchup, so I'm just gonna go and throw them down just in case our opponent plays reset stamp. Uh, the GX attack of Xerneas to move all the damage off our Guardians onto something else and kind of heal them up and uh, force our opponent to kind of one-shot our Guardians. If they're not going to get the one-shot on the Guardian, they're not going to get anything. Um, uh, it probably would be good to build up into the Magical Miracle GX attack at some point because we don't want our opponent using Brock's Grits uh, ever if we can avoid it. So we do want to cut off the potential of the Brock's Grits. Uh, Brock's Grits. It sounds weird when I say it like that. Brock's Grit. Uh, we don't want our opponent to use Brock's Grit. That's what I'm trying to say. We do not want our opponent to use Brock's Grit. So we do want to GX to attack them at some point, even if it theoretically puts Pokemon from their hand back into their deck. Uh, them using a Brock's Grit 100% puts Pokemon from somewhere that's not their deck into their deck. So we don't want that. So we don't want that for sure. If we put their hand to zero, they probably won't top deck Brock's Grit, and then they won't be able to uh, get more Pokemon back in their deck for sure to do more damage and potentially one shot us so that's what we're trying to avoid we don't want to get one shot we're trying not to get one shot here if they can't one shot us i think we'll be in a pretty good spot so i'm gonna pokey gear first if we do get another coach trainer i would actually be sick i wouldn't mind just drawing four new cards and just giving ourselves more options making the greens a little bit easier to understand to know what we want to get with the greens man we have a lot of uh power plants in this hand all right that is uh that's something there um, I'm going to go ahead and throw one down, try and bait out one of our opponent's uh, things there. They did use a greens. We could reset stamp them now to try and give them a brick hand. I kind of like that idea, actually. Uh, they did use a greens uh, to try and set up for the next turn and use find a friend. So I kind of go, I like using one of the reset stamps there. Let's go ahead and check what's prized. Um, one, two, three, four, five, nine energy. All the energies here. All the guardians are here. We did prize a cherish ball, I believe. So one cherish ball prized. One custom catchers in the hand, uh, one great potion prized. Uh, we used the pokey gear. There's a second reset stamp. We prized a switch, um, tag switch. No power plants because we have them all. <laughs> we prized one greens, no coach trainers, and one, two, three, one, two, four. We prized one charm. All right, sounds good. I'm gonna go ahead and throw them all on the back guardian. Um, or I guess we don't really have a choice. I don't want to put any on the active. Oh, we can't. We don't have a choice. I'm like talking about trying to. I didn't want to attach to the active. That was my thought process. I don't want to attach to the active. We can just get a switch with the greens if we have to. I don't want to attach to the active because our opponent could knock us out. Um, it's unlikely, but it is possible, and we don't want to get knocked out and lose an energy in play. So I think just running away like this is the uh, the better way to uh, to go about it. Um, haven't quite built up into the play we, we've been wanting to build up into, but hopefully we can pull it off on the following turn. We need like uh, we need like top like a switch or a tag switch or a greens, and then we can set up or the Xerneas, and then we can set up for that big uh, Xerneas GX. But I guess we could just switch and grab the we could greens for not nah, we could retreat the Guardian. That doesn't sound very good either. We need the energy extra energy in play anyways. That doesn't quite work. We do want to get into the Xerneas somehow though. All right, Ninetales back into the deck. They're going to get themselves probably that second Lampant. We'll see, though, here for sure in just a second. Um, it's probably not going to be the Fireworks. They probably have a Dusk Stone or a Greens in their hand to go ahead and start swinging. Actually, they use the Greens, so they definitely have the Dusk Stone. There it is. Uh, so it is happening, folks. Turn to Chandelure. Um, 
Not super difficult for with this deck anyways, but uh, yeah. There it is. Turn to Chandelure. Spirit Burner about to happen. And uh, it's going to start swinging. There is that giant hearth. We're definitely going to get rid of that with our power plant on our next turn. 100% uh, here. Do not want this thing sticking around for our opponent. Looks like a Charizard and a Lampant. So they don't have another Chandelure here, which is a big deal for this deck. Uh, they did get the Charizard, which is also a big deal for this deck. Uh, but we might be able to close them out here in just a second. I'm going to go ahead and part away this. Just in case they play a reset stamp, I want to play around it as much as possible. We don't have any cards that discard cards anyways, so there's no reason to, for us to hold on to it. Um, okay, so we need a switch for sure, and then I think we just need to get another greens. Um, I think we just need to take switch, switching greens here. Oh, it's like super not good though. It's like not good. Switching greens here is just like not good. Huh. can't come up yeah it has to be switching greens man we're gonna start drawing prizes so hopefully we'll get into some other options uh it's gotta be switching greens though and uh yeah i'm trying to come up with something else to do but i, I can't come up with anything else uh just gonna be switching greens um attach and we will go with that i'll we'll attach here as well um the storm we're just gonna leave the energy on the active we're gonna leave three and two just as is um because this means we can for sure attack with the active one next turn um and then Look for a different play off of that. There's a tank switch. That opens up some options if we top deck an energy. Could also get an energy, push it to the active, and then, and then GX attack. Uh, we'll see if our opponent has anything. They whiffed the Chandelure. It is going to be the retreat to the Charizard. So they're currently dead drawing. I have a feeling, though, if this Charizard dies, they're probably going to have access to a greens and knock us out, which is super not cool, but uh, not really anything we can do about it. Uh, they did attach a third energy to the active, so I feel like they maybe have like, greens, what's it called, in hand here. Um, so I gotta come up with a play now. Um, hmm. If we had an energy in hand, we could do the GX attack of Xerneas, but I didn't keep that energy in hand, which I could have done, I guess, knowing I had tag switch prized. We can go for the GX attack, though, which I think is gonna be our play. We can go switch energy spinner and heal this one and make it a little bit safer. We can go switch. Oh no, is the energy spinner prized? Oh, that's right. The other energy spinner is prized. So we can't pull off that play. Huh. Well, hmm. We can go for Cherish Ball. Um, knock this out. Move the energy back to the Xerneas. And then use the Xerneas. Oh, this damage with the Xerneas. No, that won't be enough. Huh. We can move this. We can switch. Get switch and Xerneas. So we can go Cherish Ball plus switch. Here's what we can do. Cherish Ball plus switch. We can then Cherish Ball for this guy. Bench him. We're going to switch into the Guardian. We're going to tag switch from this guy. One energy. Uh, yeah, just one. Up to this guy. Uh, we are then going to Great Potion, our active. Maybe he sticks around for another turn. Maybe not. Uh, attach a Fairy Charm. And then we're going to Custom Catcher for one. Uh, get a Reset Stamp. Not going to play the Reset Stamp. And then we are going to storm for the knockout. We're going to move two energy from this guy um, to this guy. And we're going to keep this energy on our active and just hope we either get an energy out of our prizes. We know the energy spinner is prized. Or we get something off our top deck to give us an energy. If our active does die, then we can attack with the Xerneas. But our active has to die in this situation as well, which it also might just not die and we might just be fine. And there's the concession. No second Chandelure. And we get the dub over a different fire deck. Um, I guess, I guess not all fire decks are bad matchups. We can beat Chandelure. It does seem like it's gonna be, it would be pretty tough though if they did set up a little bit more efficiently. So I think we lucked out just a tad there, but we'll take that dub anyways. Here in this one up against Malamar. Got the coach trainer start again. I like, when we're going first, I like the coach trainer. The coach trainer feels really good when you're going first. Um, so we definitely want to throw down the fairy ultra beast charms. I don't know if I have the second one in there, so I'm gonna hold off on throwing this one down. I think we're just gonna go ahead and could throw out power plant yeah i mean i kind of want access to viridian force so if it baits our opponent to giving us viridian force which it shouldn't really but if it does sure let's go for it um i would like access to viridian force that's for sure so if it, if it gives us if it has our opponent give us viridian force then uh, so be it i'll take it um yeah power plant doesn't really do anything against either of us they could play it to dene i guess that would be like the one thing is they might play to dene um there's a the recycle energy though um, so it's probably the pretty standard psychic list going around, uh, which hasn't been playing to Dene. I don't like to Dene and Malamar personally. Um, 
So yeah, we'll see. There's the recycle. Finding it early, uh, our opponent did, which is pretty good. There's the second NK, and there's a the communication. So it was looking like their their start beat might be a little bit scrappy, um, but it looks like it uh, ended up being just fine here, as they uh, found pretty much everything they need. A double NK, ditto. Gonna retreat to the Jirachi. Not like guaranteed, like still looking like they might whiff the turn two Tina though. No Psychic in the discard pile, no Tina with energy on board yet. So whiffing Tina here would not surprise me at all. We'll see. If I had to guess, I would actually say they would probably whiff Tina. Uh, but yeah, who knows for sure, right? There's another Acrobike. Getting rid of a Tina. Not a Psychic energy though. Finding the Tina is easy. Finding the Psychic, getting the Psychic energy in the discard pile is a little bit harder. Um, we'll see what we get here. Energy off the top. Huh. I would like a greens here. That's a coach trainer. I'm gonna follow up with a Bills analysis to try and find a Cherish Ball. Oh, that is not what we wanted. All right, so we have greens and coach trainer are gonna be our grabs here for sure. Um, we are not gonna be able to Fairy Song this turn. Uh, we're just gonna have to settle for Attach Active um, and Fairy Song, but there's no one to attach it to, unfortunately. Um, we'll have to get the attachment for next turn. We'll get the attachment on the next turn here. Um, so we're a turn short of on our energy acceleration. And I'm trying to come up with another way to do this, but I think this is just going to have to be it. Yep, yeah, Fairy Song. Um, so the Fairy Charm Ultra Beast shouldn't be a factor in this one. We saw the Recycle Energy. That means they're probably not playing uh, Ultra. But we do want to use our Psychic uh, Fairies to stop Espeon Deoxys from... Uh, from uh, damaging us because it is a big guy that can be a little bit annoying to get over so we want to prevent that um, like I said pretty unlikely our opponent actually knocks us out this turn if I had if I was betting I would bet they will not knock us out this turn they need two Malamar two psychic energy in the discard pile and a way to move the Jirachi so far we've seen one Malamar no psychic energy in the discard pile and Jirachi is still in the active I doubt we're getting knocked out this turn we could still get knocked out this turn Ed. stranger things have happened but if I was a betting man, I'm going to go ahead and bet not today, and we're going to be able to get the first knockout at the very least to give ourselves a, a little bit of breathing room in this one. There is a communication. And then we're going to try and set up for that Xerneas GX play. We're going to let him hit two uh, two of our guard fours, and then we're going to switch, tag switch into a Xerneas, and then go from there. So I almost want a coach trainer to try and find a Guardian. Um, it's a little risky, but I don't really want to use the greens if I don't have to. I just kind of want to draw cards. Ooh, we should probably just guarantee the Guardian here. Gonna get the Cherish Ball and another greens for the following turn. Boom, boom. And Cherish Ball, get ourselves the Guardian. Ooh, the Xerneas is prize, so we definitely need to draw some prizes and find that boy. Um, if not, we're just gonna be dancing between Guardians for a little while until we can either like reset their hand or do something like that. We'll just be switching between Guardians for a bit, which is also like not terrible early on here. To so next turn we'll go like greens for switch into this Guardian, um, plus uh, switch into this Guardian plus uh, what's it called? Another Cherish Ball for another one, and then after that turn is when it gets a little weird. Um, yeah, so we're hoping our top decks are like kind of good card. Our top decks and our prizes are kind of good cards that give us a little bit more to do on our turns. Um, there's the Ditto send up attached to Ditto. So our opponent might once again have a very slow turn. That attachment to Ditto is a little iffy. I don't think that's correct. You should play to try and hit a switch card there, I think. I probably just wouldn't have attached if I was them and just waiting and seeing what I had gotten. I probably would have attached to Mimic you actually. Using uh, Storm there is actually pretty good. Uh, as a follow-up from our opponent. So, yeah, that's a little iffy from our opponent. It is look, it does look it's going to be Retreat to Tina and Pass, which we are going to take full abuse of and go for that greens for a switch and another greens. And hoping, once again, our top deck uh, gives us something. We like a piece. We just need our top deck to be like a piece one time. There's a Cherish Ball. So that's like a start to it being a piece. So we're going to get another Guardian. Thin that out immediately. So we can greens for a switch and a greens uh, here. Um, or we could do the tag switch up to the active and just play coach trainer to draw cards. I kind of like that a little bit more. Um, I do just kind of want to see cards at this point, um, as many as possible. Then out that guardian again. Um, cause we did top deck the switch or we could have gone with it. We did. Now we have a switch. So we want to use the switch over the tag switch. I think, yes, yeah, is our first switch. So we want to definitely go with that. Um, switch to this guy, attach to this one. I'm gonna bench this one. I think I'm gonna bench all of them actually. I don't know how I could ever get punished by benching all of them. 
Um, so we're kind of going to find out. If our opponent has a way to punish us, um, yo, hit me with it. I want to see what it is. That way I can play around it in my next game. Uh, we only did have the one tag switch, access to one tag switch currently. So it's kind of good we were able to hold on to that. Um, and then Psychic Charm. Don't need it yet, I don't think. I think we're just going to storm to this guy down here. Um, don't really need to reset stamp. Don't need that. 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 Um, yeah, so just uh, storm. We're going to move them all to the back again. One, two, and three. And that's it. Get our knockout. That's pretty cool. We like knockouts. Boom. Xerneas, there we go. Can finally set up for our Xerneas combo now. So we can greens for switching to greens. Uh, we can attach again. Do the thing again. And then on the following turn, we can switch into the Xerneas. We could even move the energy to the Xerneas immediately if we wanted to, I think, um, from this. Because this deck usually doesn't play Custom Catchers. Um, so I think it would be safe to do that. Um, move it over to the Xerneas like that. They're about to storm us with the copycat. And they can move their energy around however they want. We don't really care about that. That's not really a threat to us. We don't care. They can do whatever they want. Um, I could actually wait to go with... Uh, Magical Miracle GX and then go into the Xerneas the turn after. Um, they gave us Viridian Forest, finally. We've been waiting for that forever. Um, we want to utilize that. And then we can throw Wonders Labyrinth down on that same turn as well and like almost fully lock them out of the game potentially. So we could try and get a little bit greedier with that play. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what our top deck is. We'll see what the Viridian Forest gives us. We definitely want them to hit two Guardians before we actually do anything with the Xerneas GX. So we're waiting for that to happen for sure before we use Xerneas GX. And then we're gonna use Xerneas GX uh, to move the damage off and heal our guy uh, with the GX attack, which is super cool for this matchup. I didn't really think about that before, but um, that works. That really works. There we go. Put that on the Tina, no one cares. And there it is, the Storm. I assume he's gonna move the energy back to the uh, Tina, at least one of them back, maybe leave one on the active. I don't know. He's got options, he can do whatever he wants. Um, I don't care what he does. Uh, we have our game plan. We're going to execute our game plan. We're going to win the game. That's the plan. Um, yeah. That's it. Yeah, so we could go Magical Miracle GX and then go into Xerneas and heal three Guardians, actually, which sounds a little bit better. Um, so I think we're going to go with that. Um, we're going to do this first. Get rid of the Ultra Beast Charm. Get Fairy out of the deck. Um, I'm going to Greens. Grab ourselves. Switch and greens so we can then pull off the combo oh we'd have to pull off the combo on the next turn actually because um, although we could like hard retreat the guardian i don't know we're gonna attach here switch here uh, we could storm to this xerneas now or we could storm to the guardian and then switch into guardian uh magical miracle but then we can't get the energy oh no then we could retreat attach tag switch still have plenty of energy left um I think we're going to go with that one. I think we're going to go with that play. I like I like the idea of that line of play, so we're going to try that out. We're going to go uh, Storm here. To, we might even like double custom KO the Jirachi as well. I like that uh, included in the game plan as well. Yeah, I like the way, I like where this game plan is going. I'm, I'm definitely enjoying theorizing how to play out this matchup right now. This is a... Uh, I'm really enjoying myself with this one. We're going to see where this goes. I don't know if we're kind of digging ourselves a hole here, potentially. I've never played... I haven't played around too much with Guardian. Definitely never played this matchup before. My game plan is going to be attached to Guardian. Double Custom Catcher up to Jirachi. Uh, we'll use this on the turn as well. And then knock out Jirachi with Magical Miracle GX for the full effect. Meaning we shuffle their hand into their deck and they have a zero card hand. And then uh, following up to that, we're going to retreat, attach, tag switch, and then Sanctuary. Heal all of our Guardians. And then uh, I think we'll be in a pretty good spot if uh, if I do say so myself. That sounds pretty good to me. We'll see where it goes from there. But uh, I had to bet. Ooh, second Jirachi. Okay, that that changes things a little bit. Um, could still go with the Magical Miracle and limit their options. They only have a Psychic Energy in hand, so they've kind of done. They kind of just Magical Miracle themselves for us. Um, so I don't think we need to Magical Miracle anymore, um, as they have kind of just done that for us. They kind of mir Magical Miracle themselves. Um, so we don't need to magical miracle them anymore. They've they've taken care of that. They've uh, yeah, they really they really did it there, didn't they? Um, gonna go ahead and ditch this reset stamp to thin out that energy. I believe we have the yeah, we have the second reset stamp if we ever need to find it. 
Now I'm kind of conflicted on how I want to do this turn. I think we can just go with Xerneas at this point. Um, I think we're just going to go with Xerneas, yeah. We're just going to GX attack with Xerneas. Oh, we can't GX attack with Xerneas and Magical Miracle. I can't do both. I thought I was I thought I, I was playing like I could do both there. I can't do both. What am I doing? What am I thinking? You can't do both. I was literally about to play like I was about to play out this game like I could do both. You can't do that. Uh, and this definitely seems like the superior GX attack. Um, so I'm glad I'm glad I realized that and we're just going with the sanctuary here. Uh, this feels nice. This is gonna be nice. Move all our damage off our Pokemon. 340 to the Tina. We got a non-tag team in our active. We got a tag team Guardian on the bench ready to attack. I don't I don't think it can go uh it can go wrong here. We should have put the psychic charm here and one on another Guardian, or even on our active maybe. Um but besides that, it's uh we're chilling, we're cruising. I, I don't think we can lose anymore. I think the game is just over. Um Good luck to our opponent in trying to find a win condition, but I think uh, we've got this one locked up and uh, they're done. We'll see though, just a couple seconds. Uh, I'm sure if they have anything, it's going to be exposed here real soon, but I highly doubt our opponent has any way out of this one. Um, they could have attacked with Tina this turn for sure. They chose not to confirm attack with Tina though. They did have three in the discard pile. Adventure bag's pretty good here though. Going to get them an escape board and a spell tag. We haven't seen a spell tag yet. Not that it would have really mattered up to this point, but uh, we really, we haven't seen one. Um, See spell tag here though. That's cool. That's cute. Not gonna be enough. So I think uh still got this one wrapped up. Almost certainly. <laughs> uh and if they do hit them if they hit the if they hit their own Tina, we're just gonna go ahead and horns for the knockout. If they don't hit their own Tina, we will switch and storm. Um it really depends what they hit. They shouldn't hit their own Tina here. They shouldn't give us the storm setup, but or the horns setup, not the storm. Horns. Um this guy's got the storm. Uh, but we'll go ahead and see what they do. Okay. Did the right thing. Hit their Jirachi. Cool. Doesn't really matter. Switch into the... Guardian. I'm going to go ahead and just try and make this as protected as possible. I'm going to play this. Draw three. This here. Use this. Get the last energy out of the deck. Um... Just gonna double custom knock out a this guy gonna throw wonder's labyrinth in play gonna attach here um and then yeah gonna go with that uh that storm for the knockout gonna move a couple of these energies around gonna move this one to here uh this one to here and then this one to here and then i'm gonna change my mind and actually move this one back and move this one back and go two and two on those guys and then leave the three on the active. And there's the concession from our opponent. Yeah, there's nothing really they could do at this point. This matchup actually seems insanely free with the Xerneas. I guess you can get about the same effect with the scoop ups probably. Never played it before, but holy moly, is that a good matchup. And guys, that's gonna do it for the video covering the Guardian deck. Um, I've always really liked Guardian. Can't beat Reshizar. That's the one problem with the deck. You just can't beat Reshizar. There's nothing you can really do about it. You're just gonna have to take the loss, but you can beat pretty much everything else, and the deck is super fun to play. So if you're looking for a fun deck to play, I suggest Guardian. Just know that you're gonna take the L to, to Reshizar. And uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, enjoy the content, subscribe, leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Have a good day. Thanks for watching, and peace.